the only leather fragrance you need to watch. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with Sandra Solomon Fragrance. Hi. So if you follow me, which you are, right, then you know how much I love the scent of leather. There's something about the scent of leather that just drives me crazy. So I wanted to create one single piece of video that would compare some of the best leather fragrances in the world. And this is it. Yes. So I held back on this video until I felt that I was ready and I truly feel I am ready to do this video in an epic way. So we have quite a wide range of uh, different kinds of leather fragrances in this list, both from niche brands and from designer brands. This list has it all. I do want to say that I think that all of these fragrances are great. There are no bad fragrances in this list. There are just different kinds of levels to the greatness. So we have 21 different leather fragrances in this list. So we have to go through them at a quite a quick pace. Yeah. So we have prepped the testing strips and we are ready to go. So let's do this. Yes. So first up is Parfums de Marley Godolphin. Oh my. Here you go, try it Thank out. You. I know you already tried it. Yes, and so, I already know I love it. So have you taken a proper sniff? Because this yes. is a this is an epic video. Yes. We gotta give it our best. I'm an experienced sniffer. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and especially an experienced sniffer with Godolphin. Mm -hmm. This is so elegant and sexy. It's wonderful. So basically we are going to rate, uh, we are both going to give each fragrance a rating between one to 20. And then we are going to add those numbers up until we have a winner. Uh, so what are you gonna give Godolphin from Parfums de Marley from one to 20? I think I'm going to give it 18. I think this is one of the best. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be yeah i gotta stop sniffing because yeah that's... because you can't sniff each no, and every one for two no, minutes because no. we're gonna be here forever so i absolutely love the scent of leather that's why this is like the most impossible kind of video almost that i could ever make it's like putting the best against each other how can i ever give this one a score I want to give it a perfect score. You are um, allowed to. I think 18 was quite a good score. Are um, you copying me again? But I think I am going to give it 17. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, even though I um, I almost want to feel like copying you and giving it an 18. But we got to move on. <laughs> we got to move on. 17 from me and 18 from you. Next up, we have one of my all-time leather fragrances, Tom Ford's Ombre. Leather. Are you... Oh my, and I am going to say oh my pretty much. Yeah, and are you going to say that each and every one is your all-time favorite uh, leather fragrance? <laughs> no, because not all of them are. Um, so how do you feel about wow. this one? This is just like Godolphin, so incredibly elegant and sexy, but this is even a little bit better. Mm. Yeah, I gotta stop sniffing because this video is just gonna be me sniffing. Uh, this is... Oh, this is so damn good. Um, what are you gonna give uh, Ombre Leather, the original from Tom Ford, uh, from 1 to 20? I wanna say 20, but it's too early into the video. Mm. But I think I have to go with 20. Oh, okay, so yeah. that's a 20 to you. I mean, Tom Ford makes incredible fragrances. And there's something about ombre leather that just, it, it, this one does something to my brain. I can't help it. I just love it. Um, yeah, I do know what you're saying. I hear you giving a 20 this early feels like something crazy, but we got to do what feels right. Yeah. That's what this video is all about. We got to be honest here to ourselves and to you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a 20 as well. And we just we just gonna have to see what happens. Yeah. 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 So 20 from the both of us. So next up we have British leather from Dunhill. This is quite a new one in my collection. Here you yeah. go, try it out. How do you feel about this one? This smells like a man mm -hmm. sitting in a leather chair with um, some kind of 
liquor roll. You know, the like mm. a mint ah, okay, in his mint. mouth. Mm -hmm. Not not just not a mint, but something like that. Mm -hmm. Quite yes. a descriptive. You even uh, put in what he has in his mouth. Yes, because when, when he's sitting there mm. and you're talking to him, you can smell his breath. Mm -hmm. And it smells good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> uh, so when we are done with your weird <laughs> stuff, what are you going to give this old man sitting in a couch with a mint in his mouth perfume? <laughs> And he has also had a smoke before mm -hmm. this, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he has, he has some smoke in his leather mm -hmm. jacket mm -hmm. as well. 15. 15. Yeah, ah, okay. I think it's pretty cool. So this one to me is... This one to me, it's a good leather fragrance. Uh, and it has something smoky about it. Uh, but this one, I believe in my review of it, I, I said that I was thinking of like a gentleman's club like yeah. a, an old oak room with a lot of different sort of a kind of leather sofas and couches so you could this there's something oldish about this scent this is yeah. not a modern kind of leather scent to me at least so i really like it but this one doesn't feel as epic to me as the other fragrances that we have in this list no i agree so with that. um I think it's it's above average though. So if 10 is yes. average, this is definitely above average. So I'm going to give this one 13. So let's move on to the next one. Next up we have another one from Dunhill and this is Agarwood. Here you go. Okay. So Agarwood was one of my, I'm going to link to my best of 2021 designer fragrances video above. So please do check that one out. Uh, I just love this fragrance. This one to me is super smooth. It's a bit uh, smoky. It's It has the leather and it has a woody side as well. Yeah. But this is dominantly dominated by a, a really smooth leather scent. I love this one. I think this is more, to me, this smells more of like a sweet, woody, mm. maybe oud fragrance mm -hmm. than I think it's a leather fragrance. I really like this one. Uh, so uh, in my, I can't remember what I gave it in my review and maybe I gave it the perfect rebel. But like I said in the beginning of this video, we are comparing a lot of great fragrances in this yes. list against each other. So even though I absolutely love this one, this to me is not as epic as let's say ombre leather. So no. I am not, I can't give this one an epic score even though I feel that it's a stunning fragrance. Please do keep that in mind. So what are you going to give Agarwood from Dunhill? Now I'm feeling like I want to put British British leather down to 14 and this to 15. Mm -hmm. Because I gave Brit Brit British leather 15. Mm. And I want to give this 15, but they are not as good. Mm. Because this okay, one so better. let's revise your score. Yes. So uh, British leather gets uh, 14. 14 and, and this, this one gets, gets 15. 15. Ah, okay. Yeah. And this one from me gets... 16. So that's Dunhill Agarwood. So next up we have one of my latest leather fragrances that I added to my collection. This is Nichonne Suede et Saffron. This is a sweet and fresh leather fragrance and I think it's wonderful. Mm, yeah, this one is amazing. This is such a well done leather fragrance. It's, it's high quality, it smells amazing but it does remind me a bit of Tuscan leather and you will see ah, when we reach okay. Tuscan leather. But regardless, we, yeah. we just ignore the fact that this one, that I said that, yeah. even though I said it, but ignore that I said it. So did so what are you gonna copy them or did Tom Ford copy Nishane? Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, what are you gonna give Nishane? Suede et Saffron. I really like this. And this also reminds me of, um, um, your favorite from Tom Ford. Ombre leather. Ombre mm. leather. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna give it 17, maybe 18. I think it's really good. Mm, yeah, this is good. This yeah. is good. This is this is going to be such a tight race in the top. Uh, I think this is an amazing leather fragrance, but I am going to give it, oof, this is so hard. I think I'm gonna give it an 18. 
Okay. So that's a Nishone Sweet Esako. Next up, we have one of my favorites from Chopard. This is Black Incense Malaki. How do you feel about it? I think it's pretty nice, but it's more of an incense fragrance than a leather fragrance mm. to me. And a good incense fragrance. <laughs> There's definitely leather in it, um, and that's why I wanted to... To me, the, this is like a balance between incense and leather. Yeah. But yes, the incense, at least uh, the first like 30 minutes, is dominating the scent. Yeah. Uh, but I really enjoy this one. This to me is like a cool twist of incense together with leather. Yeah. And I really like it. So what are you going to give Chopard's Incense Malachi? 15. 15. Yes. Okay, and I am going... Mm. Mm. I like it. I really like it, but remember this is uh, the best of the best, so I am going to give this one a 14. Next up we have La Yucca Vampur Om from Rassas. Here you yes. go. This one is so damn good. This one is so good. This is a real leather fragrance. Very masculine and just beautiful. Mm. So this one reminds me, and I believe this one is a copy of Tuscan leather. So we yeah. are going to compare, like, how do you say it? Apples to oranges? No, maybe. No, we're apples like. Apples to apples. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Green apples to red apples, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so what do you think of this one, which to me is a bit more fruity than yes. the original, but not as fruity as Godolphin. No. Which also reminds me a bit of Tuscan leather. Yes. So how do you feel about La Yucca Van Pour Homme? What are you gonna give it? This is one of the better ones. Mm -hmm. uh, 17. 17? Yes, so not as good as Godolphin, but almost. Mm, this is nice. This is really nice, and I can highly recommend this one to you guys, like I could with pretty much everyone, every fragrance in this list but I am going to give it a 15. Next up, we have the latest flanker and the only flanker to Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. This is Tom Ford Ombre yes. Leather Parfum. How do you feel about this one? This is so wonderful. The floral side of this, the violet, it's violet leaf, I think. Mm, yeah, it's and a so bit of jasmine. It's beautiful. It has that floral, floral side and the sweet side. I'm gonna go ahead and give this 19 and a half. 19 and Almost a half. as good Whoa. as the original. Um, mm. So yeah. I, uh, I, I compare these two, we compare these two, and I'm going to link to that video above, so please do check that one out. I also have reviews of both, so please do check those out. But this one to me is not as epic as the original. It's a bit different, even though it reminds me of the original. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 17. It's a really good fragrance. 17? Yes, but it's not as good as the original. So let's move on to the next one. So next up we have the epic beast, the polarizing beast from Dior. This is Leather Oud. Here you go. Yeah. And I almost, I realized when I sprayed this one on the testing strip that I should have sprayed it at the end of this video ah. because <laughs> it spreads throughout the room. It's a beast in every yes. single way. And now everything in here smells like leather, leather wood. Yeah, and just the bottle. I mean, you have a beast bottle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this one is, to some people, this is the scent of sex. It smells like sex. To others, it's the scent of a real man. To you, it's uh, what? It's the scent of a cowboy, sexy cowboy in a barn where sexy. there are leather saddles. Ah, okay, there you go. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I had so many different reactions. One uh, uh, woman told me that this one reminds, rem reminded her, the beeswax in this reminds, reminded her of a toy, something Play-Doh or something that she used when she was a kid. <laughs> and she just fell in love with the scent and loved it. So you hear the different kind of, yes. which means that this is a polarizing perfume. I love it, but I'm not sure it's my favorite leather. So what do you feel about leather, Oud? Um, I definitely think it's a 20, mm. um, but it's not a leather fragrance for everyone. No. Many of you no. will think it smells disgusting. Um, you won't get so many positive reactions but I think it's amazing. So you give this one a 20? Yes, because even though, no, you can't use it every day, but when you put it on at the right occasion, it's wonderful. Mm. And it's so unique that you can't give it anything less than 20. 
So th this is this is hard to, to compare right uh, against each other because if I compare this one, which I think is a perfect rebel, against let's say ombre leather, which I also think is a perfect rebel, they are so different. So there are there are different levels of greatness. I want you guys yes. to remember that. So yeah, uh, I think this is an epic walk. I'm going to give it a 20, but please do remember that there are different kinds of epics. Yes. And ombre leather to me is a leather fragrance that I could use way more often without sort of thinking about it. Yeah. This one is something that I, I, I pick carefully. If I want to make a powerful statement, I pick this one. If I want to shock people, I pick this one. Yeah. If I want to shock people in a good way, I pick this one. So yeah, uh, 20 from the both of us. Let's move on to the next one. So next up, we have my first from Van Cleef and Arpels. Arpels. This is Orchid Leather. How do you feel about this one? This is so sweet and nice. And if I don't remember it incorrectly, it also has incense. Yes, so it it's does. a combination of incense and leather again, yeah. and this one is wonderful. The leather in this one is a bit toned down compared to the, to the rest of the notes, and yes, there is a dose of uh, incense in it, and you can really feel it. Yeah. But the dose of incense in this one is not as heavy as in Black Incense Malachi. No. Uh, and this is more a sort of a well blended perfume, and it also, like you mentioned has similarities to Black Orchid from Tom Ford. Yeah. Um, I think this one is a beautiful one. I wanted to include it because it is the, it has leather, a prominent leather in it. So how do you feel about this one? What are you going to give this one from one to 20? This is beautiful, but I'm gonna give it 16. 16? Yes. Ah, okay. And I think you are sort of in the right. This is not Black Orchid. Black no. Orchid to me is a perfect rebel. Yes. Even though I do not consider Black Orchid a leather fragrance. No. Uh, this one to me is, it has leather in it, but it's not as strong. And even though I find this one a highly attractive kind of perfume, it's not one of my absolute favorites. So I am going to give it maybe a 14. The second one in this list from Rasase is Amber Grease Showers, here you Thank go. You. Please try it out. Let me know how you feel about it. I think this is wonderful. It has something kind of spicy fresh over it. I think it's really sexy. Mm. This is one that drives women crazy. Yes, so this one has something aromatic and something like you say, like a fresh side to it. Yeah. Uh, and a very prominent leather. So this one to me is quite a unique kind of leather. It is. Usually leather are like a deep and dark or like ombre leather. It's heavy on the leather, but it, the leather is sort of a creamy and buttery. This one is like, it's not creamy and buttery. It's not deep and heavy, even though there's a depth to it. So what are you gonna give this one? From one to 20 oops here you go. One, i'm two, gonna 20. go with 17. 17. yes uh, okay and uh, yeah i think uh, i mean i agree uh, this is not my my most perfect kind of leather fragrance i think it's a great leather fragrance yes uh, no not even great it's a fantastic leather fragrance yes. but in this list it's not the best and i'm going to give it a 15. next up we have the pretty much i'm gonna say epic one from aqua de parma this is leather oh my it's raw it's realistic it's in your face it's polite yet obnoxious in some way <laughs> it's no not obnoxious but sort no. of a it's but brutal. This is raw, yeah, raw and yeah. brutal. But this is the first time I picked this up. But there is something toothpasty about it mm. in combination with that leather, and that is quite amazing. And it has, uh, I usually de describe the leather in this one as having some smoky qualities to it. There's something in it that feels a bit sort of smoky to me. Uh, what are you going to give leather from Aqua de Parma? I'm going to go with. 19. 19. I think it's wonderful. Yeah, you love it. Yes. And I think, again, this is different kind kinds of levels of greatness. Uh, I just love this one, but it's such a unique kind of leather. It's strong, it's in your face. It is beautiful at the same time though, but I really gotta be in the mood for it. 
yeah. and it's it's a bit sad that I don't reach for it that often. Yeah, and you but actually says, told me to layer this with the other fragrances. Yeah, that and makes I have done it, that, and it's beautiful. Yeah. And you should do that too more I should, often. I should. Uh, so you gave it a 19, and I am yes. going. Mm, it's so good. Mm, this is so tough. I think I'm going to copy you. 19 as well Whoa. from the both of us. Next up, we have one that I could rightfully call an epic leather fragrance. This is none other than Tuscan leather. Oh, whoa, oh there yeah, you go. Yeah, I can have both. <laughs> Tuscan leather is without a doubt an iconic leather fragrance oh from God, Tom yes. Ford. There is something about the leather fragrances from Tom Ford. They have some similarities with some kind of twist. And yeah, this is I so believe wonderful. they were sort of created in the same vein yeah. but changed different things yeah. this is this is elegant it is dressed up it is classy mm. beautiful this this is so good yeah <laughs> this one and ombre leather does something to me it just takes my mind on a trip it makes me smile where does me that trip quick. go i don't know uh i don't know x-rated uh, but <laughs> oof, it's so good so what are you gonna give tuscan leather from tom <sighs> Ford? And now things are going to become really tough here. It's 20. 20? Yes. And can I give this one a 20? Is it as good as, I gotta be honest here. Is it as good as ombre leather? Yes. This is so tough. Um, I think, I think, I'm gonna say, I gotta take, no, so, sorry. Okay, uh, Life is sometimes <laughs> about tough choices and I'm gonna make a tough choice here. And I'm gonna say, this is almost as epic as ombre leather. This is 19.5 from me. I okay, do love fair. ombre leather that's more. Yeah. So that was Tom Ford's, uh, no, that was a Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. So next up we have the polarizing Gucci Guilty Absolute. Here you go. Thank you. And make, to make a long story short, the first time I put my nose to this one, was uh, my reaction was like, what the hell is this? I put the <laughs> testing strip in my pocket. I went for uh, a walk and about five minutes later, I put, took, took it out and I was greeted by the most intoxicating leather fragrance I ever put my nose to. That was a few years ago. Uh, I just fell in love with it and I just had to have it. Yes. But there are some people out there who feel that this is not good and I can understand it this is leather it's a vetiver and a few other things it's not your yeah. common smooth kind of leather no but this is a beautiful kind of leather uh, it, it I do think it's quite smooth at the same yeah, time to my nose that it, it's yeah. sharp so it has so many nuances that I think is wonderful I would say that this does not feel as luxurious as Tuscan leather and ombre leather mm. and that's why I'm only going to give it a 17 and a half mm. Yeah, um, <laughs> if I would go by general population mass belief, i.e. what most other people think, I yeah. would not give this one an 18, which I am going to give. I have to go with how I truly feel about the scent. So yes, I do know that this is a polarizing perfume. I do know that some people think this smells like poop, but I do not <laughs> think it does. There's something about it that just drives me crazy, but not nearly in the same way as ombre leather. So I'm gonna give this an 18. So next up we have Philippe Klein, No Limits. So, so this one to me is oh, like, like leather, this. it's thick, it's deep, it's heavy, but it's leather leather covered in something that feels like a gourmandy sort of yeah. vibe with chocolate and vanilla. So this one to me is like a gourmandy kind of leather. Yes, a gourmandy kind of leather with beautiful spices like cardamom yes. and cinnamon yes. i think really good i think it's and also the sweetness with the spices and the leather is just a perfect combination mm. yeah it's a fantastic leather fragrance yes. and i do really enjoy that it has a big dose of sweetness to it which a lot of the other fragrances in this list does not no and usually you don't get a big dose of sweetness in leather fragrances so no. that's actually I don't I don't think uh, this one has I think this one has received a lot of shit from the sort of fragrance community, but I don't think those uh, whatever hate it gets is warranted. 
because mm. this is such a nice release and it's quite a unique release as well. It is and I also think it's one of those that you can wear whenever. So um, I'm gonna give it 16. Yes, and I was yeah. exactly gonna say that. This is 16 to me as well. This is an epic one if you want a leather that is covered with chocolate and vanilla, so it has quite a prominent sweet side. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the one and only flanker to No Limits. This is No Limits, super fresh. Here okay. you go, try it out. What are you gonna give this one? Um, it's good, but it doesn't blow me away like the original does. No. It, it has a cool freshness to it, yeah. but I really prefer the sweetness with the spices. Yeah, so I think the same. This one is, you can feel a bit of the original in this one, Yeah. but this one is way lighter. It has a different kind of leather to it that is less deep and heavy. And the sweetness of the original while still being present in this one is way less heavy and a bit different. Yeah. So uh, what I really loved about the original is pretty much sort of a made light in this version. So while I do enjoy it, it's not a big love for me. No. So how do you feel about this one? What are you going to give it for 1 to 20? 13. 13. And I think I am going to sort of agree with you. It's a good release. It smells good. Yes. But it's not good enough in this list. So 13 no. from me as well. Next up we have Curie from Corner Barcelona. Here okay. you go. I do love the bottles. Nice and posh. But we are here yes. about the scent. So how do you feel about Corner? Curies. I think this is a very smooth and creamy kind of leather. Mm. Yes, it is. This is like um, a polite kind of leather. Yes, very this polite. Is, this is like a really versatile kind of leather. This is not going to offend anyone. No. Uh, but that also takes away a bit of that truly unique, grandiose greatness that we need to reach the top of this list. <laughs> yes. So what are you going to give this one? I actually think it's very nice when it's not, it's definitely a leather fragrance, but it's so soft and so creamy and so smooth. So mm. if you want something, because all of these other are kind of harsh and this is creamy and smooth and mm. I really enjoy it. So 17. Whoa. Yes, I like it more than I thought I would. No, I'm sorry. I love this one. I think this is a great uh, leather fragrance. It's a great beginner's leather as well. Yeah. But this one is a bit too polite for me. I need something with more personality to reach the top in this epic, the only leather fragrance video you ever need to watch. So this one to me gets a 14. <gasps> Next up we have a fragrance from Black Denim. This is Perfume 21 and I believe, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on this one, but I do believe that this is sort of a brand new. Okay. And I believe it has leather in it and like cashmere wood and stuff like that. So it is quite a busy perfume, yeah. but they told me that it has leather in it. Yeah, maybe a hint of leather. But to me, it's more of like spices and maybe some booze. Mm. Yeah, so this is a bit busy kind of fragrance. It's woody. I do pick up something that could be leathery. Yeah. Um, what are you going to give black denim? I think I'm going to go with 14. 14. Yes. It is, I, I'm gonna say this is really nice, um, but I'm not sure how nice it is though, based on that. Uh, and you gave it a 14. Yeah. And I, I think I'm gonna get, agree with you. This is like, no, maybe even revise that to 13. Next up, we have Cellier from Bayredo. Here you go. How do you feel about that one? Mm. I had forgotten that this is quite nice. Mm. Wow. It's definitely one of the most, uh, I think, uh, colorful uh, and unique ones from yes, Barredo. Yes, I would say colorful and sophisticated, elegant leather. Mm, yeah, this, uh, this, this is This is good really stuff. good. Yeah, yeah. it's good stuff. So what are you going to give Cellier from Barredo? I think 18. 18? I think it's really, really good. Uh, okay. And you should wear that. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, I love it. Um, and I think your 18 is pretty good. I'm actually going to raise that to 18.5. It's really good. So that was Celia from Bayredo. So next up, we have another one from Bayredo. This is Bibliotech. Please do try it out and let us know how you feel about it. 
This is nauseating. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> no. It's too sweet. It is. There, there's some form of sweetness to it, but... Does it have honey? I don't know, but um, I actually like it. But um, what are you going to give it from 1 to 20? I mean, it doesn't smell horrible, but I would get nauseous if I wore mm. this. So 10. 10. And I it's... think it's a nice release, uh, but uh, in this competition, the competition is stiff. Uh, and there are levels to the greatness in this list and this is not on the level as the other ones so yeah. i am going to give this one a 12. last but not least jean paul gautier le mal essence de parfum i think that's the name of it yes i think Please you're right do try it out and you can definitely feel that this is a jean paul gautier fragrance right away and not so heavy on the leather no it's not no uh, yeah, you can, yeah, you, there's something Jean Paul Gaultier-ish about it. Uh, how do you feel about it? What are you going to give this one from 1 to 20? Mm, I think it's a very good fragrance, like all the fragrances mm. from Jean Paul Gaultier is, but I would not say that this is a leather fragrance, although mm -hmm. it is. Mm. Um, but I'm still going to give it a 16 because I think it is a fragrance that smells really good. Yeah. This one to me is like a spicy leather. Unfortunately, the, the leather sort of comes in different shapes and forms in this one. So it sort of fades away after a while and then comes back. Um, I don't think this is, a, I think this is a great perfume. Yes. But it's not the greatest in when it comes to leather perfumes. So I'm going to give it like a 14 maybe. So we counted the numbers and we have a top three. Yes. At number three, at third place, we have Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. I believe this one yes. got 39.5. Yes. So almost a perfect one. Uh, this is a, such a beautiful one. I just love it and you love it it's as wonderful. well. If you want one of the most, one of the best leather fragrances in the world, look no further. At number two, or should I say joint, First place, yes. shared first place yes. is Leather Oud from Dior and Tom Ford Ombre Leather. And what can I say about this? I'm going to let you share a quick word about these two. A quick word is that this is the one you put on when you are going to be classy and elegant, going to work, going out with friends. And this is the one you wear when you want to be sexy and dirty mm -hmm. and feel different mm. and i think that was <clears throat> quite well put well done uh, i think ombre leather is just an amazing one you cannot go wrong with this yeah. one this is an epic leather fragrance this one drives me crazy this one is for the more bold ones if you are really sort of if you usually shy away from really challenging fragrances then yeah, this one might not be for you, but no. this one can actually grow on a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, but this one is for someone who wants a really cool and polarizing perfume, who is not afraid of putting on something that he knows or she knows that 50% of those that you are going to meet will think that you smell like something weird yeah. and not good. <laughs> but the other 50% are going to think that you smell insanely good in a way yeah. that they have never ever experienced in a perfume. I think we might have to revise that to like 2080. 2080. 20% are, go 20 are oh, going whoa. to think you smell great. Uh, okay. And 80% are going okay. to be like, wow, you smell mm, funky. Maybe. But I want to say this though, we have so many fantastic fragrances in this yes. one. I feel almost bad for giving uh, Parfums de Marly Godolphin yeah. only 35 An tokens. An honorable mention Godolphin yeah, is yeah. quite a unique fragrance. So uh, I want to know which is your most favorite leather perfume. Please do comment and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then I would highly appreciate if you would like it. Thank you, it really helps. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification button. And please do head on over to Sandra Salma Fragrance. I'm gonna to link to her channel in the description below, so make sure you check her out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.